Taxi. Channel two. I'm Italian. I've been here 16 years. I like Australia. It's a great country. I got a beautiful wife. And that's a picture there. <laughs> and of that, uh, she's on the other side. Yeah, she's a wonderful woman. I'm very lucky I've got such a wife. So kind. So gentle. Che figlio scostumato, just wait until your papa gets home. He's going to murder you. And when he's finished, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> Get your license and a raffle. Bloody <laughs> <laughs> Roberto, he's the eldest. He's 19. Oh, he's very smart. He's going to the university here. He's a great credit to me, that boy. Christians are not second class citizens. We are entitled to our rights as human beings. Remember, we are the future of Australia. If you're the future of Australia, I'm flaming well immigrating, so. <laughs> I got one daughter, Anna. She's just 16. And she's the image of her mama. And such a good girl. And not like the girls of today. You know where she is right now? She's at mass. Fantastic. I must remember to light a candle for that next time I get a mass. <laughs> you should see the baby, Antonio. He's just 12. He's got a face like an angel. He's the altar boy in the church. I think maybe one day he's going to be a priest. Maybe even the Pope. <laughs> well, if a Polish can make it, why not an Italian? Is that? Two dollars, I think. Keep the change. Thank you, Mr. Willis. <laughs> <laughs> Finished? Uh, yes, ma'am. Well, can I drink of wine? No, you cannot. Oh, Papa said all the kids in Italy drink wine. We are not in Italy. In Australia, you drink milk. It's more better for you. Well, Papa doesn't drink milk. Don't argue with me. Hello, ma'am. Anna. I want a word with you. What have I done wrong now? Knickers. Pardon? Knickers. Hanging all over the bathroom. I washed them this morning. I'll take them down in a minute. It's not the hanging I don't like. It's what's written on them. <laughs> I bought them up at the cross. They're only a bit of fun. The ones I'm wearing now read, Abandon hope, all ye who went to here. Santa Madre. Give us a look. Hey, you keep quiet. <laughs> who said the mass this morning? Mass? Uh, Father Murphy. You light a candle for the safe light of your grandmother? Yes. That's good. What are you staring at? Give me two dollars. Drop dead. Two dollars. Why should I give you two dollars? It wasn't Father Murphy, it was Father Kershaw. Oh. It's a sin to Miss Murphy. Shut up. I will for two dollars. I'll give you a saw here. Mom! Okay, okay, okay. What do you want? Oh, 
Um, what time will Gran be here? I told you. Papa and I are picking her up in the airport this afternoon. No, don't bother me. I got the dinner to fix. Here, two dollars. Thanks. Any sign of food? I'm starving. You're waiting for Dad. I'm in the doghouse again. What have you done? I, uh, got arrested. Is that all? You know, the way Mum carried on, you'd think I'd committed a crime. Are you going to prison? No. <laughs> um, it'd be nice to go to prison. What's so nice about prison? Well, I wouldn't have to go to school. Don't worry. <laughs> the way you're going on, you'll end up in prison, all right. You gonna tell Dad, Mum? Sure, I'm gonna tell him. And take your feet off of the table. You don't have to tell him. Look, your papa and me, we don't have no secrets. Couldn't you just forget about it? I forget about it. My son comes home with the police car and all the neighbors looking. Oh, stuff the neighbors. What do you say? <laughs> he said stuff the neighbors. I <laughs> Don't use language like that in this house. You should go to confession. What for? To get your sins forgiven. Don't have any sins. Not going to confession is a sin. <laughs> Santa Madre, your soul is full of sins. Oh, no, it's a perfect. And that's where you're wrong. I am perfect. Your papa's perfect. Do you go to confession? Sure, we go to confession every week. But what do you confess if you're so perfect? <laughs> Never mind what we confess. Maybe we confess that we are perfect. You <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't tease, Mum. Ah, the oldies are all the same. They don't understand us. They're too old. They don't know what life's all about. Well, I don't know what life's all about. Yeah, well, you're too young. <laughs> the trouble with parents is that they're in a rut. Yeah, too true. They don't change with the times. They're, they're so predictable. You know what they're going to do in any situation. How they're going to react. What they're going to say. Any minute now, Dad's going to come home. And what's he going to say? The same thing he says every time he comes home. Hello, everybody. I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> and Mum will come in from the kitchen and say, Buonasera, caro. Come and sit down. Then Dad will say, Grazie, carissima. And Mum will say, we have a dinner pronto. Then Dad will say, it's so good. I could eat a donkey. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm home. Buonasera, <laughs> caro. Come, sit down. Grazie, carissima. We have a dinner pronto. It's so good. <laughs> What's the matter? You forgot the donkey. <laughs> hey, what a donkey. Doesn't matter. Anna? Coming. Come on, everybody, we sit at the table. We've got to get to the airport. What are you, Enzo? Grazie. Sanvino, Roberto. Yes, please? Pass me Mama's glass. Anna, a little wine for you. OK. Uh, can I have some wine too, Papa? You're too young to drink. Hey, he can have a little bit of yours there. Oh, thanks, Papa. Cheers. Hey, 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 I said a sip. Well, it's a very small glass. Yeah, maybe you've got a very big mouth. <laughs> Ready, Enzo. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit of God, we pray for you, and we pray for you, and we pray for you, and we Amen. Roberto? Uh, amen. Okay, everybody, sweet. Mmm, delicioso. You know, your mama, she makes the best chicken soup in all the world. It's mushroom. <laughs> and also the best mushroom. Just to wait until your nonna comes. What's a nonna? Your grandmother, it's Italian word. Your nonna, she makes the best lasagna verde in the whole world. I don't like Italian food. What's the matter you don't like Italian food? You're Italian. I'm Australian. You were born in Italy. Mama's right. This is on your birth certificate. But I was only three when I left. I don't even remember Italy. You're Italian. All of you's Italian. I'm not. Look, if your papa says he was Italian, you are Italian. But I was born here in Australia. Eh, you may have been born in Australia, but you was made in Roma. <laughs> Well, I'm fair dinkum Australian. You're Italian. You all of you fair dinkums Italian. But how can I be? We've been here 16 years and I'm only 12. I tell you, when your mama, she was expecting you, it was our anniversary. You remember that, mama? Oh, how could I ever forget? Uh, 
We went out to, to celebrate. We had a champagne. We danced and we drank. And you sang to me, Papa? Oh, sole mio, <laughs> stai fronte a me. <laughs> and then it happened. They threw you out. <laughs> I'll throw you out in a minute. It was only a joke. I don't like jokes like this. Never mind him. Tell us what happened. I get the pains from Antonio. It was uh, too late to call the doctor. Antonio, he couldn't wait. You were born in the kitchen. But what's all that got to do with me being Italian? It was an Italian restaurant. <laughs> so, I don't want to hear one bad word say about Italy when your nun comes. But Mum said Gran doesn't speak in English, so she won't understand us anyway. Oh, Roberto, why you always argue with me? To speak to Gran if she doesn't speak English? Sure you'll be able to speak. I teach you. You say, Buonasera, nonna. Benvenuta a casa nostra. Speriamo che lei stia molto bene. It means, hello, good evening, grandmother. Welcome to our house. We hope you're very happy. All right? Everybody, you say after me, Buonasera, nonna. Buonasera, nonna. Hey, everybody's means everybody's. <laughs> Buonasera, nonna. Benvenuta a casa nostra. Benvenuta a casa nostra. Speriamo. Speriamo. Che lei stia. Che lei stia. Molto bene. Molto bene. That's a good. That's a good. <laughs> All right. Enzo, your favorite veal chops. Grazie. Uh, please to start. Anna? Yes, ma'am. Go to church today? No. You should go to mass. I don't believe in it. You'll never go to heaven. Will you? Yes. Well, in that case, I'd rather go to the other place. Enzo, Roberto, you're in enough trouble as it is. You're right. Hey, what kind of trouble? Oh, I'll tell you later. You tell me now. I don't want to spoil your dinner. Too late, you already spoiled it. Come on. <laughs> what happened? He come home in the police car this morning. Santa Maria. So what happened? It was nothing. Nothing. The police, sir, they bring you home for doing nothing. It was a student demonstration. Oh, don't tell me. Another demonstration, eh? Eat more Vegemite? Ban of the boomerang? We want more sexual freedom. Sexual freedom? What is this, a university you go to or a brothel? Yes. <laughs> I don't think we should talk about these things in front of the children. Well, I know all about sex. We have it at school. Sex at school? At your age? Uh, what kind of country this is? No, we only learn about it. So long as you don't get it for homework. Uh, I'll go. There's too much sex today on the beaches, on the television, everywhere. The girls, they're walking around with nothing on the top. Last night on the television, I see a naked woman running through the fields. What film was that? This wasn't a film. This was a commercial for baked beans. <laughs> You're right, Enzo. <clears throat> Look at that. I find in Tony's bedroom. Me. <laughs> I suppose you're gonna tell me this is one of your school books. Well, I found it in your taxi. Hands! <laughs> it was left there by a passenger. But it was in the glove box. I was keeping it for him. <laughs> it's for him. Oh. oh, please, don't get up. There's something to eat, Father. Oh, no, no, I've eaten, thank you. Have a little wine, Father. Oh, I wouldn't say no to that. Oh, don't let me disturb you. No, 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 disturb, please. Come and sit down. Uh, Always nice to see you, Father. You know, you're looking younger every day, Father. Well, it's good parishioners like you that keep me young. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a passenger's box I was keeping on the glove, Father. <laughs> yes. Well, I uh, brought the things round you wanted for your mother. Oh, you shouldn't have bothered, Father. You should give to Anna after you finish the 11 o'clock mass. Uh, I didn't take 11 o'clock mass, Mr. Bocelli. I speak to you later. Hey, 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 what's the matter? Nothing. Hey, you see, Father, every time I ask her what's the matter, and they say nothing, that's a the drop. <laughs> see you. Oh, salute. <laughs> uh, what have you brought, Father? 
few things for your grandmother's bedroom. To make her feel at home. What things? Oh, a uh, crucifix, a statue of the Madonna, candles, oh, and the picture of Pope John Paul. I'll take them to her room. She must be some kind of religious maniac. Hey, I don't want to hear you talk like this in front of the father. The kids of today, they got no respect. You know, young Tony at a school, they're teaching him all about the sex. Oh, long overdue, in my opinion. I knew you'd agree. <laughs> What do you say? Well, I think it's far better for children to be taught openly about sex than find out through crude jokes. After all, sex is part of nature. Nothing to be ashamed of. You sure you Catholic priest? <laughs> you mustn't worry, Mr. Pacelli. Mustn't worry. <laughs> Wait until you got three children. <laughs> Sorry, Father. Have a little more wine. No, no, I must be off. I have some parish calls to make. Oh, I'll see myself out. No, no, no. I look forward to meeting your mother when she arrives. I bring it to church on Sunday, Father. Fine. Fine. Goodbye to you all. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, Father. Ah, Tony. Yes, Father? When you're serving Mass in future, please remember you can be seen from the sacristy. Yes, Father. Mm. <laughs> hey, hey, what was that? Hey, don't tell me. I'm not a nothing. Kids, I've got to keep my eye on you 24 hours a day. Look, Father, what did he mean? That Father Murphy, he's really cosmic. Cosmic? What are you talking about? She fancies him. He's a priest. The priest are not to be fancied. I think he's dashy. And I don't want to hear you talk like this. Why not? He's only human. He's not human. He's a priest. <laughs> don't want to rush, but we got to go soon. Yeah, we've got to go now. I want everything washed clean before we get back. Including yourselves. Come on, here we go. Before we go, promise me you drive carefully. Sure, I drive carefully. I'm a very good driver. I drive like a combination of James Hunt, Fangio, and Fittipaldi. There is just one thing wrong, eh? You've lost the combination. Mm, Le donne. <laughs> We're going too fast. Now we're going to be late. Leave everything to me. Where's the fire, sir? Look, my wife, she's pregnant. We've got to be too fast. <laughs> You're going the wrong way. I'm so telling the truth. I tell you the truth. My only daughter, she's getting married today. <laughs> we're going That's to get true. to the church. We're going to be late. What church would that be, sir? Enzo, please tell him the truth. All right, I tell him the truth. Oh, what is it this time, sir? We've had birth, marriage. Don't tell me you're on your way to a funeral. We're going to the airport. My mama, she's coming here for a holiday. Is that the truth, madam? Yes. OK. Slow down, sir. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> Are we going to be late? Too bad. Can I see your driver's license? It's in my work jacket. Right. What's your name? Vincenzo Pacelli. You're Italian? I'm Italian. My father's Italian, Giuseppe Gandolfo. Hey, where's he from? Rome. Gandolfo. Gandolfo's delicatessen. That's right. Piazza Barberini. Yeah. I know him. You do? Ah, we went to school together. We were great friends. Is that so? Ah, Giuseppe and me, we were like brothers. Is that so? Ah, listen, you wouldn't give a ticket to an old friend of your father. You want to bet? I couldn't stand my old man. <laughs> Flight six, now arriving from Rome via Athens. Che figlio, non so mai quando lo vuoi. Ho fatto così una lunga via. Dio mio. E se Enzo avesse lasciato un messaggio? Andassi a domandare a qualcuno. Bella roba. Dio mio, quanta gente. Perché sono venuta? Yes, lady. Parlo un poco d'italiano. What was that? Italiano. <laughs> I'm Australian. Sto cercando mio figlio. You now understand. Un momento. Mio figlio, Vincenzo Pacelli. Oh, very nice. Now, look, go and ask at the information desk. Non capisco. Informational desco. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Scusi. Can I help you? Sto cercando mio figlio. You're Italian? Sì, italiana. Roma. Rome? Sì. You're in arrivals. You should be in departures? Non capisco. Upstairs. Santa Maria. <laughs> She changed. Changed? No. In 16 years, people do change. Not mama, no, she never changes. Scusi. Oh, good afternoon. Put your luggage on here, please. No, capisco. Your suitcase here. <laughs> the plane, she landed. Can I have your ticket? No, capisco. Ticket? Ah, si. Thank you. Hey, well, where's the mom? Ah, yes, Rome. But you're three weeks too early. No capisco. She's not here. Hey, she must be somewhere. You've just arrived from Rome. Sto cercando mio figlio Vincenzo Pacelli. Look, go down to the information desk. Ma santa madonna. <laughs> Plum, grey-haired. That's her. I sent her up to departures. Mamma mia, she's going back before she even got here. <laughs> Mi fanno male i piedi. Ho girato tutto questo maledetto ero falso per cercarti. Mamma, sì. E tu sei in ritardo come sempre. Per non si vergogni la sera un po' per vecchia per... sola. Per... Scusi, mamma. Guarda, non farmi scuse, sei in un cosciente. E prenditi questo. Sì, Maria, like I told you, she hasn't changed the one bit. <ride> Avanti, avanti, mamma. Roberto, Anna, Antonio, this is your grandma. Oh, buonasera, buonasera, nonna. nonna. Benvenuta, Benvenuta a casa, casa nostra. nostra. Speriamo, Speriamo che le stia molto bene. bene. Grazie, grazie. Dio ha ascoltato le mie preghiere e mi ha permesso di vedere i miei nipoti prima di morire. Peccato che la buonanima del vostro nonno non possa essere qui a godersi questo momento. What did she say? She said thank you. Vieni alla camera da letto. Grazie. Buonanotte, mamma. Ciao. Ciao, mamma. Mamma, dormi bene. Say good night to your grandma. Good night, grandma. Good night, grandma. Buonanotte. Ah, sì, a domani. Madonna, sono stanco, mi fanno male i piedi che non faccio eh? mamma. Isn't she a nice little lady, eh? At last, all the family were together. Yeah, right, I'm off. Don't anyone wait up for me. Oh, where you going? I got a date. Date? What, are you go crazy? You're only young once. Hey, you keep going like this, you're gonna be an old man when you're 21. <laughs> I won't be like that, I'm going to a disco. Eh, yeah, I'm not, I don't like the discos. Why not? Why are all the young people lying about the kissing and touching each other? Oh, yeah. Isn't it great? I suppose you're going out too. No. Good. I'm going to my bedroom to read a book. Good book, the Bible. <laughs> oh. Maria, un po' di vino. Grazie. How's mom? She's very tired. She's just going to bed. She like her room? No. No? No. <laughs> she said the bed is too small. All her life she's used to a big bed and she is too old to change. Well, we don't have a big bed for her. Yes, we have. You didn't give her our bed. No. Ah. She took it. <laughs> Enzo, this is stupid. You cannot sleep on that city every night for three weeks. Okay, we take it in turns. <laughs> we not take it in turns. I want my own bed back. You weren't such a little bloke, I hit you. You do not kick it. Hey, what's the matter? Oh, it's him. No, it's not. It's you. I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. Well, neither did I. But why you not sleep? Because he kept waking me up every five minutes. Because he was snoring. Well, you won't hear me snoring tonight because I won't be here. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to stay at a friend's place till I get my own room back. <laughs> Anna! Anna, what is it? It's Gran. She's emptied all my Chanel number no. five down the bathroom sink. Oh, Enzo, you got to do something. You're right. I think I go back to Italy. <laughs> She got to fit in with us, not the other way round. It's only for three weeks. Speak 
speak to her, otherwise I may not be here tonight. All right, all right, all right. may I speak to her? Accidenti. Ma perché tocca sempre a me? Mannaggia la miseria! Mannaggia everybody! I get the breakfast ready. Why did she pour all my perfume away? Oh, she's from a different generation. Look, when I was your age in Italy, we were not allowed to wear lipstick. Nothing. It was a sin. Makeup or something, only the ragazze di strada or more. Ragazze di strada? The lady of the street. Well, what's the lady of the street? <laughs> you are too young to know. Well, uh, whenever I'm too young to know, it's always something dirty. <laughs> <laughs> don't be too hard on your nonna. She don't mean no harm. Yeah, well, she's not doing too bad. She hasn't been here 24 hours and she's reduced Anna to tears, turned you and Dad out of your bed and forced me to leave home. <laughs> Things are fixed. She's sorry about the bottle. You're gonna get another one, a big one. Is she going to buy it? No, I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> hey, you don't have to worry about leaving home because tonight, Antonio, he's gonna sleep like a baby. You're gonna give him some knockout drops? <laughs> no, I'm gonna buy him some earplugs. <laughs> and what about us? Hey, don't worry. Tonight, Maria. Huh? We got our own bed back. Oh, grazie a Dio. How you persuade her? Well, I say to her, we want to make more bambini. Hey! hey. <laughs> but how are we going to do that if we don't have the big bed? <laughs> Good thinking, Dad. <laughs> and so you are a wonderful man. You know, I've been worried about your mama coming to stay with us. Why are you worried? She loves you. Oh, no. She never think I'm good enough for you. Oh, she does you crazy. Hey, no. I remember how it was in Rome when first we married. Every day your mama come round. I no cook right. I no clean the house. Oh, right. Marie, hey. no. <laughs> don't worry, Enzo. I don't cause no trouble. After all, it's only for three weeks. Che <laughs> eh, cosa? Eh, Maria, eh, eh, sit down, I make you a nice cup of coffee. What have you done? Uh, uh, nothing. Uh, well, nothing much. Tell me. Eh, eh, I think you're going to get annoyed. I'm already annoyed. What is it? Please, you promise me you don't get upset. What is it? Well, I'm speaking to Mama, and I'm talking about a holiday, and she says she's not got much to go back to in Italy. She's a woman. She's by herself, and three weeks is such a short time. Enzo, don't tell me she's going to stay for three months. No, she's going to stay for good. <laughs> Oh, sweet. Oh. 